Hello to everybody on Twitch, welcome back, and to you guys on YouTube, welcome to another episode. We left off at building a new line, and we are going to finish that line right now. First and foremost, we need to finish this. Uh, we need to finish this junction stuff here. And actually, I probably want to build that one further up because that will later be a double directional station. So we need signals there. And then we're gonna put them in here. And no. And uh, yes, oh, clock. I already know. There we go. That should work. Yes. So let's. Nah, I'm not gonna signal that yet. Let me check the junctions first. That should work. That should work anyway. Go around here. That should work. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. That also. And here we have that set up. Okay, so let's try and signal this. These are practically not necessary yet, but they will be in the future. sure how long I'll make these trains but By the way, I no longer make these things blue if I program them. Instead, you now have a new zoning thing here that can show you the uh, signals that you restricted. I think that's a little bit more useful. And over here...
that one that direction is fine Actually, we can put another one over there and now let's keep it like that that's good let's go over there how long is this it's actually long enough that's great This needs to be a path signal. Sorry there, just put some drops in my eyes and I'm going to make this a path signal also, but this one is just to prevent trains from going back in that direction in the depot since I don't want that. So this is an unsafe waiting position. This is just blocking that these guys go in here and then back up in the depot. I don't want that. And over here... Okay, I think for now there will only be one train going here and... Uh, you don't need a passing loop here, that's that's gonna be fine. So let's put a one-sided a two-sided pass signal over there, and that should be good. So let's check this again real quick. And these should actually be long reserve ones since I want them to have priority. over these sidelines. Eh. Don't know which ones I clicked now. I want this one and that one. And that was that. So everything should be fine and set up. So let's start our electrical service. And that thing will start over here. So we'll use that depot. And let me actually pause the game. And we have one electrical engine down here. So we use that and we have special carriages for it, which are those, and we'll probably make this a three long train. Or let's make it, no, let's make it actually a two long train. How many, how many passengers do we have like this? We actually have 241 passengers, so, um, 
I think we'll make this a very frequent one, but a short one. And uh, we'll use longer trains later, but for now I think this is a nice little express thing. And... Depot, and then this. This and this. And what kind of loading time did that thing have? Eight days. Oh well. That is a little long, so uh, not sure about that, but oh well. It's 600, jeez, it's 600 ticks waiting time, hmm. That is a little weird, but uh, it's, a, it's an experiment, this line, so I'm going for it. And let's use this rather frequently. I want six on the line and one waiting in the depot, so yeah, let's, let's, let's go for that. I mean, let's see how that works. Should be starting over here. Are they? Oh, they're of course starting in the depot. Yeah. So those six, 600 ticks are gone and there comes the first. It's actually good that they start in the depot. That way they will already spread out right from the start. First one will not pick up as lo a lot because the passengers are not really arriving here yet, but we'll see. And then we can maybe make another small um, stopping service. This one looks kind of funny, but it's way too fast. I want one that is that fast. One maybe, yeah, like like this. Now we can actually copy one of our old ones, I guess. Copy this one, and let's not use that. And where do we actually start that one? Because we need a different depot for that guy. Actually, let's let's build another depot down here. Then we can start in there, and then we should probably also build him there. Now, come to think of it. So let's build. How much? How many tiles are these? No, I actually want it back there so they can actually get into all the platforms here. Like that. And then we'll start building the depot here. There we go. I'm going to electrify just in case. And then we're going to clone those guys over here. My game is stuttering again. I'm not sure what what is happening. It's actually not just the game, it's my PC recently. I'm not sure what's going on with it. So you're gonna start in this depot, you're gonna go over here. I'm probably going only, only to use two of those. Why are you... Oh, by the way, you guys, when you arrive here, I want you to do this. There we go. And a 
as I mentioned, we're probably only going to have two of these. These guys have a three day load time. That is roughly 250, but I'm going to make it 350 so they are actually stopping a little longer so the other trains have a chance to pass them. Buffered, and since I want two on the line, I'm going to build three so one can wait in the depot. There we go. Could start soon. There it comes. And I'm going to replace this electric one probably with something a little bit faster later on, but I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try a different model since we got this electric one recently. And this will always be a little bit of a shorter route since we only have these three big cities on that line. So it kind of makes sense to have something a little cooler going on there and these short electric trains. are probably um, going to be the most efficient way later, so I don't mind that I electrified the rail line yet. Yeah, they didn't spread out as much yet. Ah, they haven't filled their timetable already. That's why they can't spread out properly yet. But that doesn't make much difference. Okay, let's save this. And I have a rough 20 minutes more to go, so let me quickly group these guys. Uh, one of them will be another Sprinter service. And I'm going to rename these. And I probably need to rewrite that code that sets up these stations so it doesn't. So it actually know it actually sees that there are double stations in there and doesn't identify that uh, that bone back and forth as basically staying on in place there we go that's that one and the other one the other one I'm actually going to call express I know I'm using a little bit of a category here that doesn't really exist in Netherlands, but we're not technically the Netherlands anyway. Let's call it Express. And let's check the stations. There we go. 
There they are. There's the other one arriving. And I guess we should probably extend this road a little further down here. Otherwise this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So these guys are now arriving at their depot, so... Uh... Oh no, that's actually not their depot, their depot is over here. Is now going at first in the depot and he will buffer. These guys should now have a complete timetable, shouldn't they? I know that last trip from the depot to the station and back that needs to still be done. But other than that, they should be fine. This guy should go past this station. Well, stop at it, but go past the depot. And there it goes. And the one behind it, unfortunately, will have to wait until this guy comes comes back again. So that will uh, set all this up a little bit weirder. And I'm still not sure about these immense waiting times here. Not sure about those. Or actually, since these have, for some reason, not been set up yet. Um, let me actually try something. Uh, let's set these up for 500. That's not as extreme and let's see how it goes. The buffer should do a little bit anyway. And you my friend skip for now so this other guy can clear the can clear the line. Yeah, as mentioned, this will all clear up. For now, they have a lot of waiting, but once they go into the depot and we'll be able to buffer, all of that will spread out. And that is our new line. Now going up like this. That will pretty much be all train lines that we're going to build in this new area. The rest will hook up by buses, or some of it will already have hooked up by buses. And next time I'm going to build some new stuff, but um, one thing that I wanted to show you real quick, what I plan to do, is uh, hook this actually up via power line. And for that, I'm going to build something that I need to plan out here real quick. The planning tracks, maybe. Like that. And then like that. What I want to do here is use some of these new things that I have put in here these overhead wires and I'm going to try and build something like this Or rather 
maybe something like that. Does that actually work? It's a little offset. Need to notify the guy that wrote these that this is offset. Otherwise, this should work. But there, are, this is an experimental set still, so there are some graphical errors in it still. But uh, aside from that, this should actually start looking fine real soon. Let's do it like this. And let me try this again. See this one links up. Oh, the, this one does also. Okay, let me put something in the middle here. Then, can do stuff like this. Now this doesn't match up. Let me get rid of our planning tracks. I don't want to need them. I know where I'm going. Build them one too close. And again, this uh, that some of this might not match up might be due to first of all me not building it right, or to me building on a slope here. Hmm. If I remove that, I quickly need to redo my wires. linked up so here again one two to build it like that like that real quick. I'm going to replace every every second one. And here I need to remove this road. They still look a little too close together, don't they? Let me make this a little further apart even more. Oh, 
What's this? And I'm going to build that all the way over here and then make another little substation over here, link it up to this power plant and then maybe continue it down here and go kind of off the map or something. And maybe make a substation where I go with uh, some of the, some other wires that are also in there to the individual towns uh, with some real low voltage power lines. And that is that. And since we removed something here, I should put this road back in place over here. There we go. Now the road is back. Uh, you can expand like that again if you want but yes that is that tell me what how you like this and i'm going to possibly expand this real quick for a close stream uh, since i can do something more with this there are some more things here that you can put in there All offset if you build it on a slope. I need to tell him about that. station and then here maybe something like that and we need a corner piece over here and over here there we go that looks a little better We can even do, let me see, there was something here. Those are different lines. Those are different lines. Now let, let's just keep it like that. And let's just use... That empty one. This one? Yeah. And then... that one yeah all right so let's keep it like that maybe put a small little do we have some more room here yeah let's put a small little building in there maybe yeah like that and they ah they overlap they overlap do you see that yeah I need to tell them that the sprite sorting isn't uh, correct here they overlap each other sometimes but aside from that I think there's a very cool set it allows this uh, cool new stuff and uh, yeah adds a little bit more realism to our map um, in case there's anybody still in there by the way uh, you can uh, tell me how you like it I currently don't see many people in the stream 
case I, all everybody had to leave, no problem. I hope you enjoyed later watching this on YouTube. And leave me in the comments what you think about this. I will start beautifying things a little bit more later. For now, I have another stream waiting that I want to watch. <laughs> so uh, this will be end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll start expanding a little bit more. Man, my game is real slow. Um, we'll start expanding a little bit more later. These are our little express trains and they seem to have spread out a little bit better. Certainly don't seem to be stuck as much. Oh yes, they have spread out very nicely. And we may set up all kinds of bus services down here and we eventually will look into industry, of course, and cargo over here. And uh, we'll turn this into a nice looking harbor area where we unload our boxed here for the aluminium plant. And I'm actually also thinking about expanding these power lines from behind here, somehow going off to the side and going behind and going all the way down here and no, actually all the way down here and then coming down here into this area and somehow linking up with this power plant. So we'll look, we'll look into that. I kind of want these power lines going across the map since, uh, well, that would be what they really are. I mean, you have these high voltage lines these days and we're certainly uh, nearing the time, the 20th century where these things would be around. So uh, yes, since we now have electrified rail, we should also have some power lines somewhere. So that is now that. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like what we did here and leave me your comments as I mentioned how you like it. So let me save here and say keep your heads up folks. I'll see you on the next one.